Hi everyone, I wanted to do a uh, short video to show you what happens when uh, the ignition lights don't come on on a C-Class. This is a uh, W204 uh, EIS we've got here. Uh, this is a similar ignition switch for a, a W207, which is a E-Class, uh, but the symptoms are the same for both vehicles. Um, so I'll just show you quickly what we've got here. Uh, so this is the ignition switch. This will be in your dashboard. Uh, only thing that you'd see is, is, is that bit where you push the key into over there. Um, over here, we have this steering column. Uh, obviously, you don't see this. Uh, this is bolted up on, onto the uh, main frame on, on your vehicle. Uh, this is where your steering wheel goes in uh, over here. Uh, so you could just imagine your steering wheel here. This will be inside your vehicle. This is the uh, spline here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just let me just turn that around. Yeah, that's your spline there. That will be connected to the um, the near, near the pedals um, where the knuckle joint is. Uh, here we have the steering lock, which is fitted on the column. Now, from underneath where you go to the pedals and look up, you can't actually see this. This is actually bolted up. I think they've done that for security, so obviously uh, no one could get to this uh, when uh, if they want to steal your vehicle. Now this is bolted up for the uh, mechanics there. This is bolted up with, with the bolts here. Um, so there's six bolts all together. Am I right in saying that? Yep, this looks like it's got six bolts over here, which bolt onto the main frame. Now the questions I normally get asked is uh, the key turns but the ignition lights don't come on. Now, I just want to demonstrate on that is on this uh, cluster we have here. So if we now put the try to put the ignition on, so this is the scenario of in car, you put the ignition on, obviously the lights don't come on. Just ignore these lights, these on test mode, uh, when we're on the vehicle or on the bench, the lights that you just saw a minute ago do come on. On your vehicle, they won't come on but these ignition lights don't come on. What you'll see is just this LCD come on, but obviously the, 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 the ignition lights don't come on. Now, the cause for this is, is uh, more than likely gonna be the steering lock. Uh, normally what happens is uh, you could hear a clicking sound coming from it. The motors are that they're fitted on these Mercedes weren't, weren't great. Um, we, when we get all this in, uh, for repair this is actually coming for repair when it comes in for repair we remove this we replace the motor replace all the relays replace other components on the circuit board of this uh, we also have um, parts in this ignition switch that go uh, we overhaul that make sure that's all working well and obviously we overhaul the key on the circuit board make sure that's okay uh, once we finish with it um, when you push your key in you'll see uh, the ignition lights will come on. I'll show you that later on in this video uh, once I go away and repair this and uh, and come back and show you the rest of the video. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this away. I'm going to repair it um, and I'll show you how it works. See you in a second. Okay, um, that's all being repaired now. Um, we have repaired the uh, steering lock, the ESL, this one, we've repaired the EIS, that's all done, we've overhauled the key as well, um, so I'm just going to show you, now from when I push it in, push the key in now, uh, you can see that the steering lock went in, just do that again, so the steering lock's out at the moment, you push it in, and it goes in. You can see that we've got the same lights as we had before, but now this time, if I turn the ignition on, ah, there we go, we've got all the lights on now. So that's all the lights on, the ignition's on, everything's working correctly. Just ignore these messages, uh, they're coming on because obviously it's not connected to the car. Now, if I pull it out, you can see that the stereo lock uh, goes into the lock position. Um, now, Another question I get asked is, uh, how do you put this back into here? Obviously, if you send all this to us, uh, we will already put this back into its lock. Uh, sorry, it's um, steering column uh, ready to go on the vehicle. So if I put it into a lock position, sorry, unlock position, uh, you can see this uh, nut here, it could go in 
okay um so i'm just gonna unplug it from here push this back into here and that's all nice and locked there uh, obviously we'll put the 13 mil bolt back on again um so if i at the moment you can see it's freely moving okay if i unlock it uh sorry lock it take the key out you can see that's that's all locked now and again to unlock it you turn the key ignition lights come on and you've got free movement of the steering wheel there we go all done thanks for watching the short video here uh any questions uh you can send us an email or or give us a call thank you thanks for watching